Kanban and Scrum are two distinct methodologies used in project management, particularly in software development, but they can also be applied in industrial engineering contexts. Both aim to improve workflow efficiency, but they approach this goal in different ways. It's out. Scrum is a framework that divides complex projects into smaller, manageable parts called sprints. Each sprint typically lasts two to four weeks, and the goal is to deliver a potentially shippable product increment at the end of each sprint. Scrum relies on fixed roles, Scrum Master, Product Owner, and Development Team, ceremonies like daily stand-ups and sprint reviews, and artifacts like the Product Backlog and Sprint Backlog. It's a highly structured methodology that provides a robust framework for tackling complex projects. Kanban, on the other hand, is a visual system for managing work as it moves through a process. It aims to identify potential bottlenecks in the process and fix them, so work can flow through it cost-effectively at an optimal speed or throughput. Kanban uses a board with columns representing different stages of the process, and cards representing tasks move from one column to the next as they progress. Unlike Scrum, Kanban does not prescribe roles or iterations. Work items can be added at any time, and they're pulled through the system when the team has capacity. In an industrial engineering context, Scrum could be used for complex projects with clear stages and deliverables, like designing a new production line or implementing a new quality control system. Kanban could be used for ongoing work with variable demand, like maintenance tasks or process improvements. In summary, while both Kanban and Scrum aim to improve efficiency, they do so in different ways. Scrum is more structured and works well for complex projects with clear stages, while Kanban is more flexible and works well for ongoing tasks with variable demand. The choice between the two will depend on the specific needs and context of your operations. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned.